Hey y'all, Jerry Goins here. Goins Financial, that's our company. No Bay Money, that's our partner. And YGM and Millionaire Minded, those are our teams. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about this new Ultra FICO thing they got coming out here. And, um, you know, just to explain it in simple terms for you, I'm just going to, you know, tell a story real quick. So let's say uh, Jerry wants to go get a house. You know, he goes to a lender. Uh, the lender sees his score like, Jerry, man, your, your, your credit score is not really qualifying for this house right now. So we're going to do something called the Ultra FICO. We're going to look at your banking habits and we're going to see if you are worthy of this loan. Uh, they look at my banking habits. They're going to be looking for four major things, right? They're going to be looking for uh, a balance of at least $400, an average balance of about $400 going back in about three months as well. Uh, they're going to be looking for no overdraft fees in the last three months, all right? So we'll make sure you're writing good uh, checks and you ain't swiping that card when you know you ain't got the money. We're gonna be looking to see how long I've had the bank account, make sure I haven't been uh, flipping accounts. So I'm, at, I'm over at Wells Fargo, then I'm over at Bank of America, then I'm over at my credit union. They wanna make sure I'm not just you know dumping uh, companies and going to another bank every two months. Uh, and they're also looking for the, the kind of mix of accounts that I have. Do I have a savings account, checking account, money market account, line of credit, you know, a credit card with that bank? You know, they're going to be looking at the different types to make sure it's real diverse. So there's not really a percentage. Like, we don't know the percentage of what counts to what. But um, I'm just going to go to this article here. And if you want to copy or a link to the article, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's going to be in the description box. If you're watching this on Facebook, just type info for a link to the article. Uh, but let's get let's get into the good, the bad, and the ugly real quickly on this new Ultra FICO score, just to break it down. Uh, so, as the Wall Street Journal reported, FICO said seven million applicants who had low credit scores as a result of thin borrowing history would likely see their scores improve under the new system. Separately, some 26 million subprime borrowers will end up with high credit with higher credit scores, uh, with nearly four million of them seeing an increase of at least 20 points. OK, so we're looking to uh, see about four million people get about a 20 point boost on their credit score. Thanks to this new ultra FICO system. Um, and I just gave you an example of, let's say you had about a 680 credit score, more likely you get denied for the mortgage. You know, they're going to want to look in this ultra FICO thing to make sure that, you know, you actually have good spending habits and things like that. So uh, let's take a look at the bad. All right. So let's say you have. You know, just the, just barely the credit score they're looking for, uh, and you would normally qualify for the mortgage. Now with this ultra FICO thing, if you haven't had good credit, good uh, banking history, maybe you've been overdrafting, you have a you know sh relatively short life at your bank, uh, you don't have an average balance of four hundred dollars, then you might not qualify for this loan. So it can actually backfire on some people, and you can't really choose, you know, what they're going to use. Okay, um, now here's the ugly. All right, so you know how the ultra FICO system works. You know why it would be good. You know, it's good to have more homeowners. They're going to take better care of their property, you know, lower crime, excuse me, lower crime rates, you know, better schools, things like that. But um, here's the ugly part about it. All right. People are already confused when it comes time to check their credit, what goes into their credit. You know, obviously you have to pay your bills on time, you know, and you know, if you got anything running late, you want to make sure that you call them and put it on auto pay so you get that thing paid every month on time. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that uh, you have a good length of credit history. You know, you want to make sure you don't have any errors on your report. You know, you want to make sure you have a good mix of credit. You want to have credit cards. You want to have installment loans, revolving loans, things like that. And you also want to make sure you're not using all of your credit. Like if you have a thousand dollar credit card, you want to use about three hundred dollars of it and make sure you pay it on time. Uh, those are just the main factors of your credit. But most people don't understand that already because it's not taught in school. You know, so now on top of that, they're going to throw in this ultra FICO thing. And it's like, well, what goes into the ultra FICO? I have to have all this stuff with my bank and it goes back so far. So, you know, you have to kind of start now if you don't have good banking habits, make sure you don't have any overdraw, overdraft fees or NSF fees going now until like who knows when they say three months now. But, you know, in the future, they might say we want to make sure you have any overdraft fees for the entire year, <laughs> you know, but um but here's the ugly part about it is people are already confused of what the credit score is. Now they're going to throw ultra FICO in the mix. That's just more ways for them to disqualify you uh, for the loan that you need to you know, get your house and things like that. But 
this is not a replacement for the traditional scoring model, so that's important to know. Uh, the thing is, you can't really decide what they're going to use. Also, we're talking about people with low credit scores already. You know, are they really going to have four hundred dollars or average balance of four hundred dollars in a bank account? If they have low credit scores already, you know, and they have four hundred dollars in the bank, shouldn't they be using that four hundred dollars to like pay their loans off <laughs> and pay their bills on time? Of course, they don't have four hundred dollars. That's why they have a low credit score. You know, and of course, they'd be overdrafting. And, and doing things like that because they, ha they don't have a lot of money in the bank to begin with. So to me personally, I believe that this whole thing is just hype. You know, if you're not, if you have a low credit score, then you're not going to meet these ultra FICO standards anyway. You know, um, to think of someone that's been struggling to get a home due to the debt that they're already in. Now they barely qualify for another $150,000 of debt, you know, to add to that burden. Who do you think is going to end up with that house, the borrower or the bank, you know? And in the meantime, the bank is just getting rich off of fees the entire time. Another thing to consider, most mortgage lenders, they're already using something similar to this ultra FICO thing. You know, they already want to see, uh, they already want you to print off your last three months of your banking history. Uh, they want to make sure there haven't been any large deposits, any large uh, withdrawals and things like that. And you're looking for you know cash flow. Make sure you have good cash flow. So this new ultra uh, ultra FICO thing, I think, is just going to open up the gate for them to do more into that, you know, and even look further back. And check this out. Sometimes they're going to ask for your online banking login information so that their software can go in and check it out for them. Okay, so now you're giving away your secure access to your bank account. Who knows how long that's going to stay on their servers or what folder that's going to end up in. Who knows whose eyes is going to see that, you know, a year down the line or, you know, it's just it, it opens up the gate to identity theft and some privacy concerns as well. You know, who knows what if the IRS can come in and retrieve those records and then compare that against your tax statements and say, well, hey, look, you said you made this much, but your bank this says you made this much. Who knows what it's going to lead to, you know? So that's another concern. Um, and then off, after all of that, they might not qualify you for the loan still after exposing all of your banking information. You know, and I compare it to having a little bunny in a cage and then dangling a carrot over a bear trap in the middle of it. You know, it's just going to end up a financial bloodbath with the banks raking in uh, all these finance fees and charging out the wazoo when you didn't really qualify for the loan to begin with. But you know, there's a solution. You know, there definitely is a solution. Uh, click the link at the bottom of this video or just inbox me for the article so you can see what the solution is. Uh, but other than that, man, I don't want this to be too long of a video. I know our attention spans are short <laughs> on social media, so I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day and uh, check out jerrygoins.com. Peace out.